Hello you, welcome to Geekism. This is the uh, Creativerse sim, I think it's called. Uh, it's just going to be a one-off video this. There was a tech demo released for this quite a while ago where you can literally just have a look around the planet uh, that the game will be played on. Uh, they have now developed the demo a little so there are some gameplay features and I thought we'd come and have a little look. There is a, an, an alpha that you can be in but I didn't uh, pick up on the Kickstarter for this and uh, to be honest with you I've got too many Kickstarter alphas I'm trying to keep hold of at the moment so um, we're just going to have a look at this whenever they release some stuff to us uh, sort of lowly minions who didn't access the Kickstarter. Um, it's asking me if I'd like to play with tutorials. I will because I don't, actually don't really know much of what's going on apart from the fact that we can move like that. Uh, shift seems to go a bit quicker. We can also, oh right click moves us. Left click moves the planet we're on. Okay, cool. So that makes sense. Um, we can place an evolution tower. The evolution tower marks the beginning of your new civilization and Nuggets will begin building their residential buildings around it. Uh, so we need to cl place it close to water. That's so... Okay, water. This looks pretty cool here. Can we zoom in? Weep, whoop, 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 whoop. Don't want to go that close. Um, let's move our angle a little. Okay, cool. So it's quite... It's a bit janky. Well, not janky, but the fact that you're moving the whole planet kind of is a little weird. Let's put you here. Yes. You're near water. Oh, look, we have little dudes. Uh, the evolution tower is the engine that drives the evolutionary progress of your civilized... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, there are a few perks. Okay. Uh, blue perks are evolutionary and yellow perks are mortal. Um, right, okay. And there are also rare perks. Okay, that's cool. We've got perks. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, construction. Yes, let's build some huts. And nuggets of the people. I know this. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Good. Right. So, okay, so we've got our little, uh, our little set up here. Oh, it's neat. They're quite cool looking little dudes. They've got a bit of a Rayman thing on the go. Um, so let's figure out how to build something down here. Uh, production. Adopt. What's that? Adaption. Now, I, I was under the impression that they kind of, they were relatively autonomous in the fact that they will build their own little huts as as they're needed. So let's see how they get on with that. They are panderais, food and herbs. Okay, cool. Raspberry and uh, raspberry again. Rock. So I think we can. That's Chuho. Yeah. See, so there you go. Look, Chuho is beginning the process of building the first house so we'll let them carry on with that and see what they do um, let's have a look resources water pump um, we need to unlock we need to have research okay resource management that's all locked that's all locked everything's locked yeah everything is locked okay so basically we can move around um, let's see if we can access a research tab then um, let's have a look evolution terror is complete and Rixi okay uh, they've agreed to begin production on new nuggets. Oh my word, is that, is that how it's done? Well, I wish it was that easy in real life. <laughs> Let us begin production. <laughs> um, I think, I'm guessing they need houses that. If you lose your hair percenter, click this button, it'll take you to it. Okay, that's neat. We have, um, we have two, well, there's more than two. Oh, there's two babies as well, bless them. Uh, so they are laborers and they're picking up resources. Okay, that's good. And we have 5,000 creator power points, and they will refill over time. Neat. Okay, so where's research then? Let's have a look. The amount of oil remaining on the planet, and gas remaining on the planet, and the planet's oxygen level. Wow, it's pretty uh, pretty impressive what you can do. Oh, it's raining. Look at the cool rain on the, on the screen. That's neat. I don't know what this does. You can select between one or the two. So we have five stone, ten wood. We have no metal, no oil, and no gas. We have 30 food, and we have no water. Um, nuggets report that the stone hut is fully operational. Here, it's some kind of blockage, or there's no water being pumped. Ah, okay, so how do we pump water then? Warehouse, reservoir. Hmm, it's telling us that we need to do some research. Ah, here we go. Divine punishments. Have you ever witnessed that strange moment where two nuggets are suddenly born at once? That's a f two for one special. Um, twin possibility increased by 2%. Primitive tools and primitive waterworks. That's what we want. Okay, so that gives us the well and the pump. Okay, so we'll start that. 
and it's down here it's got 30 seconds left to research it that's pretty good and um, and when that's done is it 30 minutes that I don't understand what any of these buttons do but we're working on waterworks okay you get started on there while that's going 26 yeah it looks like it's a second thing which is cool let's have a little look around the planet it's very pretty nice uh, nice design style nice art style um Ixie's a big nugget now and Chuho is as well that's good so we've got four adults working on us now yeah really nicely uh design place I'm not sure whether it's um procedural Primitive waterworks is being done. Okay, so let's click here, and that should shoot us back. Eee, oh, that's cute. Ooh, back down to here. That's cool. So we have primitive waterworks. So what does that mean we can do? Water pump. Water pumps can only be built on shores. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So let's just uh, come around here so we can get to a shore. Oh, and it's snapping to somewhere it can go. So let's put it there. Every building in the game uses water in varying amounts, and the number of buildings can have their own water storage area in the case of supply storages. Current water usage is being shown down here, I assume. Yeah, okay. So that's... Okay, so we haven't got to do anything with it. We haven't got to run pipes. The fact that water is coming in now goes to that. So that's... Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's do something else now. Then we've got... Uh, Let's research this one. That takes 30 seconds. So these change quite a bit. Uh, one water well water capacity. Uh, okay. So let's have a look. Resource management. Yeah, it was just... Oh, we can now do a well. Every nugget water uh, requires clean water to survive and will consume water periodically throughout each day. Wells are where nuggets can drink water. They need pump building to be operational. Okay, so we should place a well. Uh, when choosing a location to build a well, it should see a status icon hovering above it. A number the number indicates the refill rate of the well, which is important for seeing how quickly it will refresh. Okay, so this is 20. In fact, it's all 20, I think, so. Yeah, it doesn't seem to change, although there's 21 there, and there's 19 over there. So I guess, like 20 is a pretty decent average. So let's put a well down. Let's put it here. There we go. Uh, the well is able to stand up on its own. I just hope it is. Okay, so there's no actual hole in the ground, so to speak. But primitive tools is now complete. So I think that means they just are a bit quicker. So what we've got here, not available on demo fishing. Okay, cool. Uh, agriculture, we can do farms. That sounds good. Two minutes 40. Cooking is two minutes. This is all very... Uh, Free, you know, free to play style, play style. This, uh, this old two minute wait thing. Um, so what does cooking do? Ah, oh, that's they fell in love. Look how beautiful. The ability to cook will undoubtedly shake the culinary world. Nugget hunger and eatery. I think we should go for agriculture. We need to be able to grow stuff before we can cook it, don't we? Something's going up over here. Like I say, they seem to just build their own huts when they want to, which is cool. Let's have a look at these little guys here. Can we zoom in? Chuho. What's all this? Oh, these are all their stats. Okay, so let's have a look at what their stats are. Um, right, so these are their levels. So they're not a child. Nugget becomes an adult. And then they become an elder. Right, I see. That's cool. Um, the Nugget's health is either full or will slowly drain. So health is good. Um, structure on the stone hood has been completed. That's great. Thirst is very similar to hunger. Okay, so they, they sort themselves out with some thirst. Uh, rest. Happiness doesn't seem to be in at this one. Might determines how good they are at physical jobs. And they can carry... And that's how much they're carrying. Wow, it's, this is quite in depth. They have a spouse. Oh, it's quite neat. Okay, good. So we have, uh, we have two little huts now. I think you can build them yourself. But they kind of just put them down where they want them. It'd be nice if they... If you could adjust them maybe let's have a look turn off or on the bit what's going on here are they getting jiggy ah <laughs> look at this <laughs> don't come a knocking if the, this stone huts are rocking 
my god <laughs> good for you guys um right okay where were we <laughs> i've totally lost my train of thought what we're we doing here agriculture still going we've got two minutes left on it all right so we'll hold on to that let's have a little look around at some of the uh in a new nugget by the name of chaha has arrived hi chaha i just saw what your parents did uh we can't use sticks and a bit of wood to build this you know okay don't really know what that means so i think the kiddies just mill about they just hang around um fall has begun gravity do your thing ah huh? so we have seasons all the trees are turning a little uh, lovely shade of red, I think. There are some nice rocks up here. I don't know whether these rocks are just for show or if we can break them to bits. But uh, I, yeah, I love the art style. It really sits this sort of game really well. And it should mean that, um, you know, it's relatively light. So it should mean that you can have thousands upon thousands of people here and it shouldn't be a problem. Let's have a look at somebody uh, having a little drinky poo. Getting himself filled up from the well. And he's pretty chuffed about it. So fall is here. The nights, yeah, so the night cycles are, are, are way off from the uh, earth cycles, I guess. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm coming in, but look at things. Are they just shooting stars? They're very cool. I did see like a glowing yellow thing over on this hill. I don't think it was anything. I think it's probably just a firefly or something. Yeah, there it is. It'll just stone past it again. Oh, the as camera is... I'll be honest, camera is funky. Camera is super funky. Um, whoops, didn't want to go that high. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we can have a better look at what's going on there. Um, right. How are we doing with agriculture? 12 seconds left. That's good. So hopefully that means we can build some farms. Let's have a look. Production... Wood refinery, stone refinery, farm. Yeah, there we go. Uh, why forge when you can have a large assortment of veggies growing in the... Oh, forage, sorry. When you can have a large uh, thingy of veggies. Okay, so let's do... Fishing isn't available. Footwear means they just go a bit quicker. No, I'm not interested in that. Let's get cooking on the go. Okay, and while we do that, we'll build our first farm. Oh, wow, look. This is pretty large, actually. Um... Maybe bring it out a little, out of the way a little. I like that. It, it seems to highlight the stuff it's going to have to edit. Um, doesn't seem like rotating is a thing yet, unless I just can't quite figure out the controls. None of the mouse buttons seem to do anything. Um, let's place it there. Cool. So hopefully they'll start working on that. I like the fact that you haven't got to really sort of tell them what to do. I like the, that sort of level of autonomy is pretty fun. And it's a nice sort of mechanic to have to deal with. Oh, this storm's right on top of us. Look at this, we're going to get drowned out. I hope not. Um, Food-wise, we're on 26. So they, yeah, they're not using too much food, but... we, You know, a farm is what we're going to need to get that up and running. I'm assuming they're going to get the... Stuff they need for the farm. Uh, this looks pretty neat. The black and... Uh, black and your yeah, tape... Is a little funky, I guess, you know. I guess they're going to say that it's leopard skin or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, she's took something over there, and which has now made her thirsty. Uh, okay, here's the farm. I don't know what supporters means. Are these people who are doing stuff towards it? I see. So you can actually tell people specifically to go there. Um, or you can just prioritise it. They're taking stuff there. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Uh, somebody else getting a little drink over here. Foraging wise, do we do we do anything with this, or do they just kind of come and get it if they need it? Hopefully, the farm's enough. Uh, Kahala has left childhood behind, and that's good. We now have five adults. So, if at any point any of those adults want to get busy and make a six, that'd be quite neat. What is this? What's going on here? Current time at your local position. Oh, wow. Oh, that is neat. So the planet's time actually rotates. You know, with, 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 the, uh, with the sun. So if we move over here, we actually move into morning. Oh, that's really neat. I've never seen that before in a game. So now, as we move round to the other side of the planet... It's now 8am in the morning. 
Oh, that's cool. And as we drag it round, we go back into the night. So if we set up a separate build, a sort of set up somewhere else. Oh, that's really cool. I have no idea where home is. Hopefully this is taking me to it. Um, cooking's done though, which is cool. Oh yeah, it's right where this storm is, look. That's really cool. Temperature changes and everything. Very nice. So hopefully this storm doesn't do much damage. It seems to have maybe... Is it, is it blowing up a tree over there? Or is that him cutting it down? No, that's that guy cutting it down. He's doing a fine job. Um, okay, so cooking is now done. Oh, we've got loads of stuff. So storage areas, traditional healing, uh, ancient burial, genus camelus. What the hell's that do? Oh, thirst reduction by 30%. Okay, so there's little things like increasing stats and stuff, which is cool. And then there's bigger things that actually sort of open up new buildings or whatever. So ancient burial. Let's, let's get a burial plot because if that's the rate the kids are turning to adults, we're going to be having deaths soon. <laughs> um, farm's coming along nicely, though. Let's have a look at progress. Um... Required resources. It needs four more wood. Which I assume one of these guys is doing over here. What are you carrying with you? Does it show you what you're carrying? It probably set up here, but I missed it. Yeah, so everything's there now. So now are people going to go over and, uh, and actually build it? Oh, there we go. He's having a little bit of hammer. And here's the progress. Ah, so once all the material's there... We then begin the actual building process as well. Right, okay, so it's a relatively long process, to be fair. Um, but that's that's fine, you know, it, as long as the game's balanced around that, it's not an issue. Uh, you know, some things go up really quick. Some things don't, so I'm okay with it. Let's have a look. Everyone's working away over there. A little bit of daylight would be nice. Can we speed up time? We can speed up time a little. Okay, cool. Is that a play pause? Yeah. That's good. The farm is able to stand up on its own now. Okay. I think that means it's done. So now what happens? Does somebody... Okay, farm UI overview. Farms have three worker slots for the assignment of farmers. These nuggets will take care of all the planting, watering, and harvesting activities. Depending on their appearances, they may even double as scarecrows. Farms, unlike most buildings, don't require water to function. Water is only needed when it comes to planting crops. The amount of water needed depends on the type of crop you choose to plant. When selecting a new crop to be planted, you must first consider the type of biome the farm is situated in. Every crop has its own climate preferences. Okay, cool. Uh, farms have two local storage areas. Uh, one is used for the food and the second for the herbs. They will fill up as your workers harvest them. Should they become full, farmers will cease planting crops until you clear uh, until they clear out of it. You can build warehouses on to make more room. Okay, cool. Uh, only one crop can be grown in the farm at a time. When you select a new crop to plant, it will be planted every year at spring or summer and harvested in the fall on a loop until you select a different one. Uh, oh, we've got oh, we've twins. Cool. Uh, if you want to change the selected crop for the next cycle, you can do so by clicking. Right, okay. Farming UI overview. Each crop slot, there are three circles showing the growth time, expected food output, and water needs respectively. Okay, that's a lot to take in, but we'll have a little look at it. Um, so here it is. So we now get to assume. Assume? So let's make somebody. They're all laborers at the moment. So who's good at. Yeah, let's get a nice young guy who can work there forever. Okay, Hemu. You're moving to the farm, and our crop will be. Uh, we're on grassland, so one of these, bloody diarrhea fruit, <laughs> or man bro. Um, so what's that? This crop's expected growth, four minutes, you'll get eight. And the amount of water. So for four minutes you get eight, for six minutes you get twelve. Um, let's go, we've got to go bloody diarrhea. This, is not, this crop does not grow during the current season, are you sure? Do we plant it now? No. Ah, I see. Do we have to wait until... Oh, okay. You have to... Oh, wow. This is really interesting. It's quite in-depth. You have to grow the stuff in the spring, pretty much. Unless there's stuff down here. Yeah, so we're going to have to hold on for a little, because it looks like we're in the winter at the moment. You just you just, pop, you just stay in there, mate, and just keep on top of the whole thing. Okay, because it looks like we're in the winter. What has happened over here? Um... It's a 19% rigid rigidity. Uh, this bar represents the building's current condition. If you see it getting low, you should build a constructor's hut as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, 
No, that's that shouldn't be shut building. That should be close the window. Um, okay, production. Let's have a look. Farm. We've got a farm. Um, we've got a water pump. Uh, here we go. So we've got eatery, cemetery, engineers. Constructors are responsible for new building constructions and repairing existing ones. Okay, so that's what we need one of those. Let's place you over this side. There. Okay, a bit funky as to why you can place some stuff some places and not others. Um, let's also... Well, engineers... So yeah, let's get a cemetery going. Oh, wow, the cemetery's huge. That's fine. Now, I'd really like to be able to rotate stuff. There we go. Q and E is doing that for me. Um, place should kind of out the way. A bit there, so we'll go there. Good. And what was the last thing we could build? Don't be centre. Eatery. Well, let's put you uh, right by the farm. To be honest, that makes the most sense. But we can't place it right by the farm. And we, I'm guessing we haven't got the stuff needed. It may well be that we just haven't got the gear. Um, bro, woodstone. Yeah. But maybe, okay, I don't know. Maybe you can only put them down when you've got the stuff. I assume that you could put the blueprint down and it would just keep going. So now we have engineers. We can assign a nugget to be an engineer. Um, who's the farmer? There's the farmer. So let's... Uh, Ahu, you can be it. Oh, the building's crashed. Never mind. We didn't get there in time. But they're building another one. It's okay. This one's on its way out as well. Hopefully Ahu should now come and have a little go. Um, the well is holding together with a bit of string and some chewing gum right now. Hopefully, Ahu is going to get on it. Ahu is so thirsty. So, let's get something done then, pal, yeah? He's getting a little stuck. Unless you're actually still building this place. Yeah, you look like you're getting a little funked out there, aren't you? Can we pick you up? You definitely seem like you're getting stuck in a little loop, don't you, Ahu? Let's get rid of you then. Remove Nugget from building, yes. Okay, he can wander off, so let's just see if that was a, a one-off. Set you back to it, Ahu. As soon as he's finished building his little house, he should hopefully get on that. Okay. Uh, cemetery's good. Okay, so he's gone back into here. Let's have a look. Yeah, he, he's stuck on a loop there. That's that's definitely an issue. That's a shame because I would like to have seen stuff get repaired. It looks like stuff's just going to keep falling to bits that we just had to replace. Cemetery's up and running. Looking lovely as well. Shouldn't have to worry about that just yet. But it's there. I like how it's, uh, it follows the contour of the ground. That's good. We don't get any nasty sort of raised area. It seems like it actually follows uh, quite nicely. That's good. The cycle begins anew. Okay, so it looks like we're in spring now, which means we can plant something. Um, let's do bloody diarrhea fruit. Okay, and we're off. So he should now get started on that. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's getting going. Yeah, shame about the buildings all breaking up. Yeah, just looks like construction's a little bit goosed. Never mind. Never mind. It's like I say, it's still very work to work in process. It's still very much an alpha. Um, but the farm's looking good. And, uh, and stuff's going on. Anyway, this is pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, a fuller release later in the year. Or it might even be next year, actually, I think. But, I don't know, it just popped up my emails today that they'd uh, released a playable demo. So I thought I'd come on and, uh, and share it with you, because I know a lot of people uh, may not necessarily have heard the game. You know, they don't follow Steam Greenlight too much and things like that. So, uh, hopefully... Uh, oh! Is he, has he managed to get out of there? 
He's waiting for part... Oh, no, he's gone to get busy. All right, so he's got his priorities right, hasn't he? My word. Uh, right, so, yeah, there you go. With this pulley system, yeah, so th we've pretty much done everything we can on the demo. Um, they're getting it on over there as well. Great stuff. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. And if you would like to join in with the community, you can check out our Discord server. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.